Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at Temples 2019 Pro Day with Rick Ciratella of NFL Draft Bible. Rick, a lot of prospects here. 20 NFL teams were here in attendance. What were some of your takeaways from today? Yeah, 28 teams from what I understand. We've been able to confirm 21. And uh, my takeaway is, hey, you know, I really liked the gutsy performance from uh, Rocky Sin. I mean, this guy didn't have to come out here and, and retest. He did the 40 again. I had him 447, 419 in the short shuttle, 697 in the L drill. So I thought, you know, he, he came out, proved he's a competitor. If he goes in the first round, I wouldn't be shocked. To me, he's a top 50 lock. Uh, the other guy was Michael Dogby, who I think, quite honestly, he might be the best player that wasn't invited to the NFL scouting combine. So I was eager to see. He weighed in at 284, at six foot three, 34 bench press reps. I mean, this guy squats 600 just to warm up. And, you know, 497, 505 in the 40 yard dash. So he was moving 9 2 broad, uh, you know, unofficial times here, 457 short shuttle, 740 L drill. Um, I think this is a player that's getting drafted, a uh, combine snub who will be drafted in the late rounds. Yeah, and I look at, obviously, the running back position. Raquel Armstead, got to go there. Outstanding work through the field drills, the bag drills, the way he caught the football, which wasn't a lot at Temple, but you saw him catch the football naturally out here in front of the scouts. What were your thoughts about him? Outstanding work, and I love that Deuce Staley was the one directing the drills because I think Deuce Staley is a future head coach and an intense competitor. Um, Raquel is actually right over here to our right talking to the Tennessee Titans for about the last 20 minutes, so we'll blow up the Titans spot right now. <laughs> um, I did find out that he has a private workout set up with the Chicago Bears, which I think would be a good fit for him. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, when you take a look at his film when he's healthy, two years ago he played with the turf toe, people questioning what happened. What happened is the kid is tough, and he's temple tough. And that's why he's going to be playing on Sundays, probably as a mid to late round selection. Yeah, I look at two other guys that were here working out today and Fintel Bryant, uh, the wide receiver, and Delvon Randall, the defensive back. I say defensive back because he can play either safety spot, can play down shallow. I think he's one of those more underrated guys that you'll see, kind of like Sean Chandler last year, make a roster, get on the 53, and be successful. successful. So this was part one of the pro day then after this we're going to see some of the small college guys work out some names of note don bragg alone indeed uh cam lewis from uh, st francis. Francis, francis along yes. with his teammate andrew zecca a punter from st francis i call him a defensive weapon those are some of the guys that we're going to see work out later on today but just to wrap up temple's pro day what were some of the things that you looking for, are you looking forward to seeing um as this day concludes well you know i'm looking forward to seeing you know, where these guys land, obviously, but uh, you mentioned the small school guys. I mean, that's what we live for, right? So Don Bragg alone is a guy at 220 pounds that's going to run in the 4-4 range. This guy, I mean, he's an athlete. And mm -hmm. you mentioned Cam, Cam Lewis from St. Francis. Got to show our guys over at NEC some love. Um, you know, and, and you mentioned Delvin Randall. I had him in the 4-5-8 range unofficially. Um, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for Ventel Bryant. I, th I think that he's an underrated guy. You know, his 40 was not nearly what I thought it would be. But again, you know, hey, very uh, well attended, um, you know, Temple Pro Day. In, in terms of all my years covering the Temple Pro Day, I remember being the only media <laughs> member here. And I, I think we probably got about three dozen media members and, uh, you know, 28 teams confirmed probably close to 50 scouts. I mean, the Eagles came in hot and heavy over here. So did the Giants. Giants are here hot and, and heavy as well. And, and the fact that the Eagles were so gung-ho about putting uh, Raquel through those, I mean, they need a running back. Bears need a running back. Yeah. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Armstead gets selected a little bit higher than people are anticipating. And one more tidbit. Also across town, you have the Pent Quaker Pro Day. Uh, Tommy Dennis, the offensive tackle, is one guy to keep an eye on. He could play guard or tackle, had an outstanding FCS Bowl, outstanding Tropical Bowl, and was outstanding during the Ivy League. And don't forget about my long snapper, Carson Vey. <laughs> Keep in mind, Rick also has the draft guide coming out, so be on the lookout for that. Where can people find that draft guide? NFLDraftScout.com right there in the menu bar. You can order it. It's coming out this week. Make sure you get the best eight bucks you can spend, no doubt. I concur, and this is a wrap here from Temple's Pro Day. Be sure to look out for all kinds of interviews, highlights, Anything that you want to see coming from today's pro day at footballgameplan.com, NFL Draft Scout, NFL Draft Bible.com. We got you guys covered. Thank you for tuning in.